The last time I went on a trip like this, which was uh, in 2007, I, you know, people didn't really even have smartphones yet. Um, I only even met like one person with a blog at all. So there was an actual, you know, void to experience. And I, I don't mean void like emptiness, I mean a void like a place that you can't talk about. Because when you talk about it, you strip away the mystery. You know? Now there's not really a void if, if you don't want there to be. Everyday people with no marketing or editorial experience, uh, professional or otherwise, can eloquently uh, relate their thoughts and feelings in exchange for gear or even hard cash. I didn't have any sponsorships, uh, not that I didn't try, but I, I didn't get any and I had no, no responsibility to, to anyone, but I still was afraid to uh, live entirely in the void. You know, living offline is dangerous. They don't tell you that when you're living in the moment, time moves a lot faster. I wanted to secure my, my online space. You know, and as a citizen of digital community, you know, it's my responsibility to bring back hopefully something um, important. I set up so my Instagram, which was linked to my uh, Twitter and then to my Tumblr page, and then that all fed into my Facebook. And I set up an automatic response in my email, letting people know that I wouldn't be able to respond to me. So I started putting work on my Instagram, and that would feed into my, my Twitter and to my Facebook, but then the Twitter would also be automatically posting my Facebook, and then I'd start getting doubles of posts. Which would be fine, maybe, except that then, you know, people would only like one of the two doubled up posts, and then, you know, so all the concentration of, of likes would be spread out among these other ones. Some of the artwork I had made would have premieres, while I was away, but the only way I would find out about it was through uh, Facebook invites, or sometimes somebody would tag me in a picture on Instagram. Or if I was really lucky, maybe they would use an image of mine for the uh, Facebook invite. Our Tumblr wasn't doing so well, you know, we only had about 20 followers, but I felt a real dedication to those followers, and uh, we still would do like a token post every, you know, two weeks. And because I wasn't outputting enough, uh, basically, like, everything was stuck on my phone and I only had, you know, I'd have to erase a picture to take a picture or, you know, erase the podcast to listen to a new podcast and so forth and so on. Mostly because I refused to pay for the iCloud space. It just, Spotify was just killing me. It, was, it just kept filling up all the space on my phone as, as quickly as I could delete it. And when I first heard about my website, you know, I, I laughed. But it, it's dead. It was gone. There was nothing I could do about it. It was actually down for weeks before I even heard about it. But I was okay with it. You know, it, I'm going through this transformation. What a perfect time to, to rebrand myself and get a new my new uh, online image out to the world. But, you know, it's just another thing to do. And my, my digital workload is enormous right now. And I haven't even re-entered society yet. So I'm still speaking to you from the void. And I need to build a new website and, and update my Tumblr. But And if I haven't uh, responded to your emails yet, if you're one of those people, just know I'm, I'm working on it. I can do uh, up to five or six a day, but that's that's really all I can handle right now. But, you know, it's not a, it's not a burden. I make it sound like it's a burden. It's really, you know, it's a privilege. And I'm really looking forward to this re- union with my, my digital self and my physical self coming together once again. It'll just, you know, be like falling back into my, into my old self. You know?